Hey there, this video will help um, explain how to include metadata, that is, data about your data, um, embedded in your feature classes. So here I have a Deer Lake uh, file geodatabase, and within it I have a few feature data sets and feature classes. So in right now what we're in is Art Catalog, right? So if you don't recall how to get that, when you're in Apps Anywhere, you can um, connect to Arc Catalog directly, which is uh, the sister, let's say, of ArcMap. You can also access ArcMap or Arc Catalog within ArcMap, but um, this is a way to get sort of the full power of Arc Catalog. So let's say I wanted to include some information about uh, benches. So notice how I, when I select benches, there's an option to preview. So here you can look at the, the spatial distribution of the benches, or you could also look at the table, of, uh, the attribute table, which has information about um, the, all the G. Uh, the, interestingly, here is like things related to the precision of that data, um, the, the, when it was collected, um, and then some attributes. Now, if you click on the description tab, this is where you can add metadata or data about your data. Um, if you click edit, and I've already added the data in here, you can write tags, a summary of how that data was gathered or what its purpose is, and then um, any sort of information related to how the data was gathered, and in this case, this is a group of students. This is their data and the equipment that they use. So they did a really thorough job. Now, this is always the uh, icing, or what is it, the cherry on top of the cake, in the sense that um, so often we don't get to metadata and adding metadata to our data, but often we generally wish down the road that we had included these sorts of details. When you're sharing data with other people, it's helpful to have information about when the data was collected, etc., especially if that's not embedded within your um, attribute table. There you go.